How's it going YouTube? Cody Bernardi here with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about OSINT on social networks. Now, in my previous video, I go over a giant list of OSINT tools. In today's video, we're going to be going into some of those tools and some tools that weren't mentioned. And basically, we're going to be gathering information that is on social media, mainly Twitter. But we're going to give a few shout outs like Snapchat. And then another tool that I wanted to use in my GeoGuessr game. Uh, so I'll give that one a shout out as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the Twitter advanced search. Now this is built natively into Twitter and it has all sorts of goodies into it, finding specific tweets during specific times and such. So let's go over it. So all of these words, basically it kind of explains right here. So it will match anything that has, you know, like what's happening. doesn't matter where in the tweet, as long as it has both of those words, this exact phrase, basically <clears throat> it whatever you type in there, we'll have to read it verbatim. So it'll be a string. So like it says, happy hour, it will search for everything that says happy hour. Any of these words, it could be any of them, but doesn't have to be all of them. None of these words basically wants to exclude any tweet that has whatever words in here. These hashtags, so whatever hashtag you wanna look at, any language, again, you could choose a language. It will auto do it for you if you just type in, you know, the language up here. Uh, from these accounts, so it'll be tweets originating from that account. So you could put like from real Donald Trump to me and you'll see all the conversations between real Donald Trump and me. Hasn't happened, but you could do that. Mentioning these accounts, so any, I, I believe SF bar, Caltrain mentions SF bar or mentions. So I, I don't know how that's different than this, but whatever. Moving on, uh, engagement. So this is a good way to filter out bots, minimum replies, minimum likes, and you know, minimum engagement and then dates. So you could filter when tweets happen from the state to the state. Um, another thing that's not included in here is you could set up a geofence around where tweets originated from. So we'll do, um, you know, we'll do, we'll type in fire and then, uh, I think it's near, and then we'll put Seattle within 50 kilometers. So it'll give us tweets near Seattle that say fire within 50 kilometers. And you can see right here, we have like Tacoma fire. I liked it. Um, but everything in here near Seattle within 50 miles or kilometers that say fire in it somewhere. So CK fire. So there you go. That's Twitter advanced search in a nutshell. I'll put a search uh, Twitter dork picture right there. So you can do all your Twitter dorking in the search bar up there. Moving on, sleepingtime.org. Now this site's pretty cool because you type in a person's handle, tweet, hand, Twitter handle, and you can see approximately what time they sleep, judging by the times that they tweet and then the gap where they don't tweet. So we'll go to sleepingtime.org and we're gonna use real Donald Trump for our examples and we will hit enter. And I'll calculate basically all the times the tweets come from that account. And we could see that Donald Trump more than likely sleeps between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Moving on, analyze words. So this will kind of give the emotional style, how the person's feeling. You know, it, it takes words like bad words, good words, and kind of, you know, describes how they're tweeting. Now, the next uh, tool I'm going to talk about is a little bit more thorough, but we could see that Donald Trump most of the time is a very upbeat, plugged in, and analytic. So it doesn't really give us much as far as, you know, it gives us like tweets analyzed, but it doesn't really give us much other than just this. It's, it's useful, but this one's more powerful. Social bearing, it's free to use. You throw in someone's handle, we'll actually go back. You could do tweets, handle, geo, you know, stuff like that. So we will go to handle and we will throw in real Donald Trump, hit search. So we got rate limited, but we could see uh, 200 tweets within six days. He has a reach of 74 million people. Uh, let's see, estimated accounts reach for Donald Trump within that time frame. Impressions, potential views. So 100,000 million billion, 14 billion potential views. Uh, 2.8 million retweets, uh, three replies. And we can see right here, tweets by sentiment. So most of it's great, good, neutral, bad. Tweets over time. So we can see, you know, when he tweets, hashtag cloud. Uh, top domains shared, so Twitter, Bitly, White House, CDC, tweets by source. 100% of his tweets are coming from an iPhone. Uh, let's see, word cloud, so he likes to say COVID-19, virus president, all that. So let's do this. Let's go terrible. 
right here. So terrible. So hashtag COVID-19. I wonder why hashtag Idaho is bad sentiment. And then you can see the tweets down here. So you can see good words are highlighted in green and terrible, or I guess bad words are highlighted in red. Against and failed, never, bad, endorse, best, small, small business. Okay, so they kind of screwed up right here. Disrupted, disaster, small, help. Moving on, Snap Map. So we all know what Snap Map is if you have the Snapchat app, but little did a lot of people know is the Snap Map is actually available on desktop and you don't need to sign in to use it. All you do is hit browse map and we can just scroll here and we'll just click somewhere in Italy and we can see people's snap from that area. So if you want to, you could just type in whatever and view the kind of what's going on. I believe Snap, I, not I believe, I think Snap Up's a good way to get around the bullshit <laughs> that uh, media kind of pushes out because this is people and they're just sharing their views online. So this one, 1 million tweet map, this will allow us to see live tweets going on around the world. So let's scroll in real quick. So we will go to, hmm, let's go to Las Vegas. So we can see, uh, kind of what we did earlier with the near Seattle within 50 kilometers or whatever. I believe this is what it's kind of doing. So oil change and uh, diagnostics at LV Auto Maintenance in Las Vegas. So I'm assuming that there is a auto shop like right here. But this is 1 million tweet map and you could do things like day and night layer, heat map layer. So the heat map is actually kind of cool. So you can see like where a lot of tweets are happening. And you can search things like uh, mm, real Donald Trump. Let's see. So you can see live where people are tweeting at real Donald Trump. So that's a live map of who's tweeting at real Donald Trump. Moving on. So Wayback Machine is a great way to find uh, data that has probably been deleted. Um, they actually have a browser uh extension right up here and basically anytime you go on a website you can just hit save page now and it'll save it to the archive or internet archive or uh, Wayback machine uh, but basically you could throw in someone's twitter um so we'll just do twitter.com slash real donald trump now even though that tweets don't necessarily have to be archived um you can view deleted tweets so we could go back to like 2010 uh, August 9th and see all of the tweets from real Donald Trump from that time and I'll load up it might take a sec but this is what Twitter looked like and you could see all the tweets sometimes you might be able to come across tweets that have been deleted but they're saved on the Wayback Machine moving on this is how you can find private information on accounts that or information on accounts that are private so uh, just because like your uh, account is privatized all the things that you do on, you know, to public accounts can be uh, saved on Google. So my personal Instagram account, St. Bernardi, is locked down. It's private. But if you do site Instagram.com in text St. Bernardi, you can see that some of the comments I've made. So you go to my private account, you can see that, you know, I have 974 posts, but it's private. You can't see anything. And most of the time you just say, okay, I'm done. But we'll go back here and you can see that I commented uh, right here somewhere or tag an owner. I don't know what this is. So GTR, someone someone shared my car here at GTR, owner St. Bernardi. So there you go. This was a photo of my old car, has 5,700. I mean, that, that engagement doesn't matter. I had no idea that this was actually posted. That's cool. Um, but there you go, you could see data from my account moving on allegedly so let's do real donald trump and you can see how many times a tweet per hour how many times it's repetitive uh, but a good way to use this is to see if an account is true or if it's a bot because if it's a bot it's going to be the same amount of tweets and it's just going to be filling up the entire map so you can see the time of day and the time so right here you can see like he's sleeping but he's tweeting all the way up until like 11 o'clock and he does most of his tweeting between uh, 6 a.m. to about 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night Pacific. So, and then this is a social media monitoring guide right here. So, a bunch of tools right here. Um, <clears throat> and you can just go down. So, Facebook, GoTweet, you know, all sorts of tools in here. So, I'll put a link to that down below. 
And then another cool uh, Twitter account that you can use is called Quoted Tweets. So you can see right here that, you know, my response to financial disclosures, you can actually tweet at this account, Quoted Tweets, and it'll give you a link. And you can see all the tweets that are quoting that original tweet. So you can see what people are talking about. And then this was the map that I wish I used in the GeoGuessr OSINT challenge game. It's called mashedworld.com dual maps. And basically it'll pull in Google Street View and Bing Bird's Eye View all into one location. And I think this is pretty snazzy, huh? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it in this video. Uh, if you enjoy content like this, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you could share this with every single person you know that's interested in OSINT, I would greatly appreciate that. Also just surpassed 500 subscribers and, you know, I think I've said that in a previous video, but I think that's pretty cool. I, I hope everyone is getting through this coronavirus, COVID-19 stuff. I, I want to reiterate that social distancing is very important. You don't need to go and hang out with your friends, you know, Zoom, Slack, all that is an option. You could just hang out with them that way, but please let's get over this hump. That is coronavirus and COVID-19. We can all get through this together. So thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Bye.